What's going on, gang? Ball Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at the Toys R Us exclusive Skeletron from Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Mission to Cybertron. This figure is a... well, there's no beating around the bush. This is the same damn figure as Steel Bane. It is the same exact mold, all of the parts are exactly the same, just painted differently with a new decayed head. Now, remember this figure stunk. This Steel Bane figure was garbage. Well, so's Skeletron. He has the exact same issues in the exact same places with the exact same problems. Wait, that didn't make any sense. I'm not sure what Hasbro is going for, but poop colored is not, well, a good coloring. Yes, I realize it's brown. The green is not very flattering, and then the skull face is also not very flattering at all. In fact, it's really kind of disturbing. Now, the figure does come with this collector card. If you go to this website, you can translate it. It literally just says Cybertronian. That's it. On the other side of the card, it says tra I'm assuming this is supposed to combine with a couple of different cards to make a mosaic. Now, Poopatron here has some of the hieroglyphs or wording here on his wing. It says Skeletron. That's it. Doesn't translate to anything else. Oh, Hasbro. <sighs> okay, now look, this figure could be decent if the problems plaguing it could be fixed, or were fixed. I'm sure I could take the time and use some pledge on all of these joints. Hip joints are loose, knee joints are fine, ankle joints are fine, shoulder joints are loose, swivels are fine at the upper arm swivel, ratchets in the elbows are fine, head is actually incredibly tight. Ball joints back here are a little loose, but nowhere bad as Steel Bane. This transformation is exactly the same as well. It's also just as frustrating, just as annoying, and just as stupid. Huh. Would you look at that? So I will give Skeletron one leg up on Steel Bane. The Worven or Dragon or Drake's head actually stays up. It doesn't immediately flop down, which is better than the previous one. It still looks like hot garbage. It's still not great. Something I never did show you guys in the other review was the horns and that the mouth can open all the way. And he even has a little tug in there. So, there is that, but it still looks bad. It still looks like a hodgepodge of parts more than a Transformer. This is probably one of the weakest slash worst dragon modes I've ever seen on a toy. It's not good, it's not fun, and it certainly is not worth the $20 asking price. So, don't buy it. Don't buy Steelbane. In fact, if you do have this mold and you can fix it, great. Have fun. Otherwise, burn it into a pile of slag. So gang, I hope you've enjoyed this video review. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And kill it with fire! Stab, stab, stab! I'll catch you next time.